So I'm just starting out this look by blending out my regular concealer on my eyes. And I haven't decided if I'm going to speed up some of these parts, so just bear with me as I try to do this all in one shot. So we're going to start with the Palladio Beauty Sunset Mirage Palette, and I'm going to dive into this taupey brown color and start blending that all onto my eyelid back and forth with a blending brush. So this day I was actually running very, very, very late, as you'll see towards the end of the video where I start to multitask, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Um, that is why this is a voiceover video. I have found obviously me talking through videos takes up a little more time, and I still wanted to get a video up for you guys, so don't mind me multitasking. So don't forget that tape, I almost did, so it wasn't too late for me to put it on. Um, so just make sure to put it on very even. And we're diving into the mauve purple color, and we're gonna put that right on top of the taupe color we just did. And I kind of just take this into the outer V area so it can give a light smoky look. Next I'm taking a flat angle brush and we're going to do the eyeliner part. This is super easy, anyone can do this. The tape just really helps as a guideline so you can do your eyeliner. So I just basically get the brush wet and dip into the eyeshadow and I apply my eyeliner how I normally would. And going over it so I can do the base of the eyeshadow I'm just going over with concealer and a brush very lightly. I'm doing it on the other eye. A little cut crease action. And just touching up some of the eyeliner a little bit or eyeshadow I should say so I'm using the Platio Beauty liquid eyeshadow creams I ended up going with the pink and the gold color and these are so easy to apply so I just went ahead and put those on top of my eyelids they don't crack they don't crumble they are super super nice and you kind of forget they're almost on there which is really awesome so I just put those all over and just blended those into the eyeshadow <laughs> And I'm just going back over to make sure it doesn't look too, um, what's the word, like, not blended, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going over back with the eyeliner and all of that just to make sure it looks cohesive and all one.
time to take off the tape, which is one of the best parts, and moving on to skin. So I just primed with El Maquillage's primer. I don't know exactly what it's called. I'll um, put it above. I'm just taking soap and putting it in my eyebrows. This is something new I've been trying and I've been really enjoying it. It's been making my eyebrows more full and I hate doing my eyebrows. So it's making me a little more confident about them and doing them on camera. Okay, the most exciting part is the concealers. These are new, these are awesome. They are obviously from Pladio Beauty. They sent me over three different colors and here I'm using their ivory um, beige, I believe it's called. And it is so easy to blend out and it just looks so beautiful on the skin. And it had that really nice radiant, um, like illuminating factor to it. So I just went in and just kind of touched up a little bit of the areas that I wanted to and then blended it out with the beauty blender or a beauty sponge I guess I should say. This one is the Wet n Wild one. It is a $5 so go, actually no, is it Wet n Wild or Elf? I think it's the Elf one. It's the Elf. I think it was like 5 bucks. And then always using an oldie but a goodie, the Becca um, eye brightener. I love this stuff. I forgot how good it was. I heard there's an actual dupe for it. I think it's Elf um, that I actually really want to try. And going in with my CoverGirl concealer. Okay, obviously I did my eyebrows off camera and then I just go ahead and start using the Platio Beauty contour sticks. These are amazing. I love these. They sent me so many different colors. This is on my last stick. I think I had like six or seven colors and I just love them so much. This color is a little too dark for me, but that's why I kind of just use a little speckling brush. Is that what you call it? Kabuki brush. There we go. And I just kind of put it on where I would contour my face and blend it out. But yeah, I love this stuff. It is perfect. And now I'm just putting on blush on top, I think, or bronzer. I think that's blush. No, I think it's bronzer. Okay, so I'm definitely using bronzer, and I'm using the Physician's Formula. Is it the Butter Bronze? Um, I just started using this not long ago, and I absolutely love it. I know I'm, like, super late on the train, but it is great. I love it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and contour my nose with some eyeshadow. <laughs> and uh, use my finger to blend that out. So here's me stressing out uh, how late I am and then I'm trying to put glue <laughs> on an eyelash and it just goes everywhere. So yeah, I'm trying to multitask and it's not really working out.
but I eventually get the glue on the lash. And these are Lily Lashes. I believe these are the Miami flares I'm wearing. I think that's what they are in here. But yeah, this is where I start <laughs> to multitask and stress out. I'm going to start doing my liquid, oh, liquid eyeliner, liquid, or sorry, um, lip liner. Ugh. So I start doing my lip liner and I'm waiting for the glue to dry on my eyelash. Um, I believe this is the color mauve. No, this looks like a lighter color. I'll link it down below. I'm not quite sure at the moment, but it is a NYX lip liner. That is basically all I use. Um, just because they have so many colors. And I just pop on those lashes. I'm almost positive these are the Miami Flares. I love these. I always find new lashes. I love them, Lily Lash. And I'm always, like, willing to spend the money as, as expensive as they are. I'm always, like, willing to. I just love them so much. Again, me rushing. Um, I'm using the Glossier Clear Lip Gloss over top of the lip liner I used. I love this stuff. I like didn't know what the hype was all about it. It's not sticky. It stays on for a pretty long time for lip gloss, and it just gives like that extra like plump your lips need, and it makes them just so juicy. I love it. All right, here we go. Now I'm finally doing blush. So I'm just putting this on top of the contour on my high part of my cheekbones. Um, Morgan actually told me about this. Um, I think she saw something on like Twitter. So um, I've been trying that lately and I think it looks so nice. It looks so different. And then just adding a little bit on my nose to make it look like sunburn. And these are Platio's new highlighters. They are so nice. I actually used these as an eyeshadow one time and I loved how they looked. They're very smooth and they're very buildable. So you can still get away with like cranking it up a little bit um, and giving it that extra glowiness. Or you can just keep it very simple and just give like a little bit of shimmer. And then a touch of white eyeliner me realizing I'm so late and then quick mascara this is L'Oreal Tos L'Oreal Telescopic and then just a little bit of bronzer underneath my eyelid or eyelid waterline there we go <laughs> uh, couldn't think of the word and then I run out of time, so... Alright, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to get a quick little video up for you guys using the PR I have thankfully been sent from Claudio Beauty. Again, not sponsored. They did not ask me to do this. I just wanted to use makeup they have sent me and create a look for you guys that is super basic and easy that anyone can do with simple colors. I will link my social media right here um, and then I will also link Morgan's down below in the description if you want to keep up with her as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!